In autumn, there are so many opportunities to make outfits, but sometimes it can be easy to just fall into the jeans and sweater formula every day. So today I'm creating three outfits showing some of my ideas to be a bit more creative with your wardrobe in the upcoming months. I'm gonna be building these outfits step by step so you can just hear my thought process as a guide. With that said, some of these pieces today are from my Teresa, and they're the sponsor of this video. They provided me with a gift card so I could choose which statement pieces I wanted to add to my collection. They share my love and appreciation as a designer for quality and the best craftsmanship and the best materials which is a standard for my wardrobe at this point in my progression of building up my personal style. And even the opening experience from them was just unparalleled. I was just telling my course members this week that I can tell a whole lot about how a company values me as a customer by how they package it. And my Teresa did a beautiful job with this. I also love that a free return label was included with the package, which makes it just so much easier to return anything that I need to. And everything is linked down below for all of these outfits, just in case something catches your eye. Okay, let's get started into the looks. For the first outfit, I'm starting with a goldy charcoal jeans and an Everlane micro rib crew neck that I've really had for a year or two. So it's very basic at first. Then for shoes, I'm carrying through the black color to these Western style boots. If you don't have a hardworking and versatile black boot in your collection yet, I definitely recommend finding one that just matches your own personal taste. I actually will be wearing these throughout the rest of the looks today just to show the versatility. Next, I'm adding this denim jacket from Ganny, which was my first pick from my Teresa. When looking for a denim jacket this fall, I wanted to find a cropped version that was a little bit more of a statement just to offset the more standard versions that I currently have. And this piece really stood out to me. Ganny is known for their big collars, and this one is no exception. I also love the little toggles that look like licorice. And that just matches the black color that is underneath the jacket in the outfit. Ganny is led by a husband and wife team. And since Zach and I work together on everything and we have for years, buying my first piece from this brand was just really charming to me. And then to create a repetition of the blue color, I'm adding a Baker Boy hat from Double RL. And this one conveniently has a black bill. And so I'm using that black bag with me as well. So the bag has more feminine curves, which is more a nod to the feminine elements in the jacket. I call this look licorice Americana since we're working with black licorice toggles and then black underneath, and then the Americana feel the denim gives. Plus the Baker Boy hat became popular around the 20s or 30s in America. To be honest, I wasn't reaching for a skirt at first with this outfit, but I'm so glad I did. This is a black silk midi skirt with an elastic waistband, and I've had it for years from Elizabeth Suzanne. And then I'm repeating the top again to show the versatility of that. I've also added a nacre watch and then a gold choker, which works really well with any crew neck. As promised, I'm adding these boots from before. It's a bit too early in the season to add tights, but I love the look without it. And I also like that they just start at the bottom of the skirt hemline. Next, I'm adding this red Valentino checked cardigan that I picked out on the My Teresa website as a statement piece of this look. It's another beautiful cropped item which will elongate my legs and the black edging makes a seamless transition to the black outfit below it. I also love the pocket placement and the black cuffs and the fabric is thick but it's not overwhelming as more of a layering piece. The accessories in this outfit bring the whole look together and it really elevates it to a new level. I would say that the black beret repeats the softness of the sweater and it draws the eye upward throughout the look. And then the gold accessories from the two coin necklaces that I have, plus the handbag hardware are all in keeping with kind of that camel color from the cardigan. And then the necklaces repeat more of the elongating V neckline. I call this look queen to B5 since there are five black pieces and then the underlying chessboard appearance from the pattern is there too. I also love the academia feel of the outfit. 
So the key is to not stop at just adding a cardigan to jeans and a crew neck tee. This is the season to play with hats and beautiful patterns and wonderful textures that make you feel so good in them. Now I'm taking those charcoal jeans from the first look and I'm pairing them with a striped sweater from Okay, pardon my French, Jardin des Orangers, <laughs> which is exclusively a label from my Teresa and is known for more luxury cashmere basics. And the sweater is actually one of the softest that I've ever tried, even though it's more of a wool and cashmere blend. And also I would say it's not too thick. So now let's add that heeled boot again, which just magically makes the jeans look like they're a much better fit. And then we're gonna add the necklaces and a black beret. And this makes the striped sweater have a little bit of a French vibe. And then I'm repeating the black on top and on bottom. I'm reserving the horizontal stripes for my long torso. And then I'm tucking in the sweater into those high rise jeans. So this will work well for anybody who wants more of a longer leg appearance with their outfits. But this whole look came together when I added this corduroy blazer from my Teresa. And it's from a brand called Golden Goose, which I love finding out about new brands and their story and their vision. And the My Teresa website tells you at the top of each brand page about that brand. So they don't really make you feel uneducated if you haven't heard about this brand or that brand before. So for Golden Goose, it was founded by two Venetian creatives and they just wanted to come up with more distinguished looks and they merged American taste with more of the wearability of Italian clothing. In this blazer, the brooch catches your eye, but then if the blazer lining shows, it infuses the floral design from the brooch into the pattern. So what I like about how this outfit is coming together and how you can replicate it on your own is by having stripes run horizontally underneath the jacket, and then on the jacket, it has more vertical stripes. So I'm using statement colors here with this beautiful blazer and then the fabric too. Also the geometric patterns within the whole outfit, the sharp lines in the blazer, the beret, the purse, and the shoes, and then just softening it with things like the floral brooch and soft corduroy and soft cashmere. Plus I am strategically working with a blazer length that flatters my curves since it's past the widest point on my hip. I call this look blood orange, partially because when I make creative outfits, I just always imagine one orange grove look, but this has a totally different orange theme. So the orange undertones are found in the blazer and then the sweater's label is translated as orange garden. So blood oranges were popular in Italy and then also in the United States, much like the crossover between the US and Italy with the Golden Goose's creators. And since the sharp lines of the outfit looked like something that I would see on the runway, I liked the idea of it just being on the bleeding edge of style. Plus, blood oranges are delicious. So those were my three looks for expanding the horizons of fall styling. And thanks again to my Teresa for helping me add these statement pieces as well to my wardrobe. And hopefully you guys found this video fun and helpful. And many of you guys are going back to work and making these upgrades to your wardrobe. I'm so excited to be back with all the fall content this season. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a post. And with that, I'll see you all next time.